Good morning everyone! Welcome to today's video. I hope you're having a good day and hopefully your day gets better by watching this video. We are halfway through the year so it's definitely time for a mid-year life reset. I can't believe in six more months we'll be in 2025! Ugh. Today we are all going to be productive. Make sure you grab your pen and paper because we are going to review our 2024 goals. We're going to check in to see where we are to see if we can accomplish our goals by the end of 2024. We are going to review our healthy habits, look at our vision board, maybe we have to revise it a bit, and we're going to do a massive digital detox. So I hope you're ready to reset. Now one of my healthy habits is to exercise three or four times a week. It's in the morning, it's sunny, so it's a perfect time for me to work out. Now I'm going to head to the gym in a couple of minutes. My goal is to work on the Peloton bike for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Now if the Peloton bikes are not available, then I'll go on the 30 minute walk. So let's go work out. deep cleaning sort of reset my apartment there's a couple of things I do want to do like unload the dishwasher clean my oven because a couple of days ago I made some chicken wings and it was so good and crispy because the air fryer setting in my oven however the oil did spill at the bottom so the oven is really messy so I'm gonna try to find like a life hack to clean the oven because I don't trust the self-cleaning setting on the oven I did that at my last apartment and it was just terrible. There was smoke everywhere. The smoke alarm went off. Like, I don't like it. So I'm just going to clean it myself. You guys can probably hear the water boiling over there. And that's for the oven. I do want to mop as well. So just a little bit of tidying up. I'm going to set a timer for an hour. Let's do one hour. And start now. Okay. 
Okay guys, it is time to do a goals check-in. I want to take a look at my 2024 goals to see how much I've accomplished, to see if I need to revise a couple of them, maybe I need to add new goals. So I have my good notes open with my 2024 goals page. And I'm going to scroll down and we're going to look through all of them. So my first goal is to visit four countries. I'm planning number four right now, so I know that I'll be able to accomplish this goal. I've been to three so far. So at the beginning of the year, I went to South Korea. Then spring, I went to Croatia. And then last month, I went to the Bahamas. So I'm planning number four right now. I'm going back to Asia. I'm really excited for this trip. This has been on my bucket list for some time now. Okay, finished reading four books. So I just finished Millionaire Next Door. I read a lot yesterday, but I was able to finish it. So I am on number three. My next book is called The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store, New York Times bestselling. This was actually voted the book of the year. I'm on number three right now. Grow a garden on my balcony. Yeah, I mean, I just completed that goal. Um... I'm in the beginning stages, so I don't see any leaves. Um, it's just soil, that's it. But right now, I'm growing tomatoes. Um, I have to start them off indoors, so I have it in my guest bedroom near the window. And then outside, I'm growing carrots, broccoli, lettuce. I'm actually growing two flowers. Um, I forget the name. They're like morning glory. Yes, morning glory. They're blue flowers. So, yes, I'm able to cross that off. Go to a Dallas Broadway show. So, I missed a lot of opportunities to go to um, a Broadway show, honestly. Like, I was interested in the Peter Pan one that passed. Um, there were a couple of other ones. I looked at the 2024 schedule, but a lot of the good ones that I was interested in seeing um, are not showing right now. The only one that's showing is called Funny Girl. And I read the description. It does look interesting. So I might go ahead and book that and maybe see it next month. If I don't end up seeing Funny Girl, then that's it for 2024. Um, I want to see The Wiz, but it's next year around this time. So, yeah, I don't know about that. The next one is to try a new hairstyle. Ugh, I don't play with my hair, guys. I like to get hairstyles. I know I like. I know that I've done so this one kind of scares me. Now I was thinking about doing like a bob next, like shoulder length bob, but I'll make it a new hairstyle by adding highlights, if that counts. I don't know, I was thinking about some burgundy or maybe brown highlights. I don't know yet, maybe I'll get a new um, braiding hairstyle. I'm not interested in the boho braids because that one's super popular. But maybe I'll just try a different braiding hairstyle. So we'll see about that. Okay, go to a tech conference. I just got approved for this conference in the fall. And I'm really excited about it because it's very popular um, amongst black engineers. And I was thinking about going last year. But, you know, there's like always a budget. It's always a budget issue. Um, so I didn't say anything. I was like, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to go. This time I typed out a letter, sent it to my manager and you know i had to go through a lot of people but i got approved so i'll be going to a tech conference all paid for through my company i'm very excited about it so this one i will be checking off soon have one video blow up now my dubai one um has reached about eight thousand. it's not a new video i made it like a year or two ago but has gotten a lot of views. <laughs> I still get comments on that video, but it it hasn't blown up. Maybe for a person that has, you know, a thousand or so subscribers, 8,000 is like, well, that's a lot. But blowing up, I mean like 10, 20, 30K. That's what I'm talking about. And I haven't gotten there, so, and I was hoping that my moving vlogs would blow up. I have gotten thousands of views um i've gotten new subscribers hey if you're new thanks for subscribing um but for my definition of blowing up it didn't blow up so i will see if a video blows up <laughs> have 5,000 subscribers on youtube i just reached 2k yay thank you guys for subscribing i really appreciate it i hope that you continue to watch my videos um, so I'm at 2,000 right now, 2,080 something. 
Um, I do need about like 3,000 more to reach this goal. We'll see what happens. I'll just continue to make high quality videos as I say all the time. Have an Amazon storefront. Yeah, there are a lot of Amazon stuff that I've bought that I want to share with you guys. And I don't want to like always just copy and paste. It would be great to have a central location where, you know, if I, if I talk about something and you guys are interested in it, you guys can just click on my Amazon storefront link and just go to those products. But I have not gotten approved. I keep getting rejected. So I will keep trying later on. I really don't know what the criteria is. They say it's like but based on your following and all of that. I don't know. Maybe the 2,000 I have is just too little. Maybe I need 10. Maybe I need 5. I don't know. I can't really find like a concrete answer. But it just says it's based on the following. Have 500 followers on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram has been a struggle for me. So I only have 39 followers and I started in January. So it's really slow growth. I don't even know if I'll make it to 100 <laughs> by the end of the year. I don't know. I enjoy doing it. Um, this is what it looks like. If you love traveling or you want to get started with traveling, then definitely follow me. But... Yeah, the growth has been slow. I don't know if I'll make it to 500, but you never know. And those were all of my 2024 goals. All right, so now I want to revisit my vision board that I created in the beginning of 2024. I create this board as motivation to look at like where I want to be at the end of 2024, some things that I want to work on. So we're going to take a look at it and see where I'm at. So... We can start with some of the words that I added. Balance. I feel like I'm there. I've been able to balance my full-time position with YouTube and Instagram. I have a schedule right now. So I film on the weekends and on the weekdays. I do edit and I have a cutoff time. So if I'm editing and it's like around 9 p.m., I stop at like 9.15, 9.30, get ready for bed and be in bed by like you know 9:45. so I do have a schedule now so I do feel like I have a balanced life and I still have time to work out and have fun and enjoy my weekends self-care the beginning of the year was good because I was getting my facials I was going to nail salon and then I stopped going to the nail salon because I found out about this press on nails called Glamnetics. They have it in the Ulta Beauty section of Target. Now I've been kind of slacking with self care because I'm just really busy and then I have an infection and then I just moved so I really haven't been thinking about myself or my appearance. Now I don't look a hot mess every day but in terms of like self care and doing things that I love and relaxing and taking naps and listening to my body has been a little you know for the past three months I kind of fell off but now since I've done moving um, and I'm not as busy we're getting back into it I just took a bath yes now I have a bathtub so I took a relaxing a lavender bath and it was great and I got like the bathroom tray and I set a candle and then I read during my bath it was very relaxing so that was nice I just booked a maintenance appointment for my braid so I'm getting my hair redone in the front row um what are the words that we have here health yeah because i had an infection i lost a lot of weight which i was not upset about um, but yeah i lost a lot of weight so i mean that's not healthy because i'm already skinny so now i'm starting to eat full meals um i just got my lab results because i got my annual physical and i'm low on vitamin d so my doctor prescribed me um vitamin d to take for six months i think it's like 50,000 iu and then she's like for the rest of my life i need to take vitamin d um 2,000 iu i think i, mean, I don't know if it was 2,000 or 20,000 i don't know but basically i gotta make sure that i'm you know getting back to my normal self because I've had this infection for a long time and I kind of still have it. Um, I am on antibiotics. So health-wise, like food-wise, you know, I'm getting better. I am eating healthy. Um, but yes, I'll be taking vitamin D and I'm still on antibiotics. So hopefully I just get back to my normal self very soon. Success is here. Success on YouTube. Yes, I've gotten a lot of new subscribers. Um, I've just reached 2,000. 
Now looking at the books, yes, The Millionaire Next Door is at the top left corner. I just finished that book. Highly recommend this book if you're into like finance books and you know, if you're into learning how to become financially aware and how to become wealthy. Really great book. Um, the Heaven and Earth Grocery Store. Yes, I got it right here. I'm going to start it later today. Now let's take a look at some pictures here. So I have a lot of pictures related to uh, traveling. Got a picture of a mountain. Um, I got a picture of a country in Asia. I don't know if that's Thailand. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, there is a picture of Greece. And I wanted to go to Greece this year. But the prices was not looking good. It was like over 2000 for the flights. That's crazy. And it wasn't direct flight too. It was like two or three planes. Yeah. Flying to Greece is just too expensive right now. I do have a picture of some plants because I'm growing my garden. Yes. I told you guys when I move, I want to start growing some fruits and veggies. And I'm doing that right now. So that's great. Got a picture of an acai bowl that represents just eating healthy, making sure that I'm eating nutritious food. So I do follow like the 80% of what I eat is like really healthy, nutritious for my body. And the 20% is like mm, not so healthy, maybe has a little bit of sugar or salt, but you know, it's satisfying. Then I do have a picture of someone working out. I have been working out three to four times a week and it feels great. I've been going on a lot of walks i'm walking now 30 40 minutes burning like 200 calories which is just great um you guys know i did cancel my fitness membership because i do live a little further away from the place um it's not too far but i don't know i just feel like it's not worth it because this is a new apartment complex we have a big gym we have two swimming pools um and the gym is really nice so no need to go somewhere else to work out it's very convenient like after work on mondays i just go downstairs and work out and it's great i have a picture of someone sleeping because my sleeping schedule has been a little bit off like sometimes i sleep around 11 and i wake up just so exhausted so i've been trying to like figure that out and what helps is just to read before i fall asleep um, reading actually gets me sleepy. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the small print. Um, but I've been working on that and it's been good so far. But I had issues with it in the beginning of the year, so that's why I added a picture. Yeah, I think my vision board's looking really great. I don't want to revise anything. I don't want to update any pictures or words. I think this looks great. And these pictures represent the stuff that I have been doing for the last six months. So I'm really happy that I'm on track. Recently, I wanted to send from my laptop to my phone video footage from my drone and I got an error or I got a message saying that I don't have enough space and I just thought oh my gosh like I have apps that I haven't used I downloaded in 2022 and I haven't used I want to do a detox I want to go through my phone delete apps that I'm not using documents um photos that I no longer need and just do a reset on my phone without clicking the reset button and setting. I really do want to free up some space on my phone. So we are going to do this together. Okay, so this is the first page on my phone. Let's see, iTunes U. Oh no, I actually don't want to install that. I just wanted to look at it. I don't think I need this, but I don't think I can delete. Oh, I can delete it, perfect gonna delete that I don't even know what that is Temple University no longer a student so I can go ahead and delete that H&M mm, Pinterest oh uni days I'm no longer a student this was a great app if you're a student I recommend getting uni days they have a lot of discounts student discounts um let's see what else free form I have never used I think that was oh no I want shortcuts there's a lot of apps that are pre-installed when you get an iPhone that I just have never used so I'm just gonna delete it um what else is here I don't even use Yelp I'm gonna remove that too mm, Cinemark I don't watch Hulu I actually don't have a 
Hulu um, subscription. I think I just signed in using someone else's. And I haven't signed in a long time, so I might as well just delete that. Trivia 316. No. When I'm on the plane, and I, if, if I'm on like a long haul flight, then they will provide games. But I like to like download offline games. Um, and that one I'm just sick of it, so. I don't, I don't think I need Uber yet. I think that's fine. KLM, yes, I'll probably need that. I actually want to move this to travel. I feel like that makes more sense. Oop, I can't move it. Oh, there you go. That makes more sense to keep that there. Yeah, I think that's fine. What else is here? I haven't used Goodreads. Yeah. Someone told me about that app, and I just haven't used it. No need to have it. HBO Max. I'm logged in using someone else's credential, I believe. Let me see. Am I? Oh, okay. So I think HBO Max is now Max. Let me see. Do I have Max on here? Oh, there he goes. Max. Okay. Oh, apartments.com. I just moved. Not looking for an apartment. I could delete that one. Travel. This looks pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. Music. I don't use Musi anymore, so I can go ahead and delete that. Disney Plus. I don't have Disney Plus anymore. Or actually, I think I use someone else's information too. <laughs> Prime Video. I don't use it on my phone. Sometimes I'll, I'll watch Prime on um, the TV. Um, Sophie, nope, I don't use this. Don't need Spanga. Um, Rail Ninja, I use that, I believe. When I went to South Korea, don't need that. Never, yep, that was for South Korea. Might be good to have like an international folder, like a section, because there's certain apps that I'll only need when like I'm traveling to a specific country and I don't need it again, but who knows, maybe I'll go back to South Korea and just have to install everything back again. Yeah, this is, this is a Korean app again, I'll delete that. This is another one, delete, 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 delete. Delete, delete, delete. I have a lot of random pictures on my phone, and that's because of thumbnail pictures. Now, I do make sure that when I upload the video, I try to delete the pictures that I don't need. Sometimes I forget, but I try to delete. Now, these are all, are all videos and pictures that I want from traveling. I can delete that one. I don't think I need that. Delete. Hmm. Let's see. And I want these because I have a travel Instagram. I could upload these, or you know, I could make a reel next year with these um, photos and videos. So I don't want to delete. Yeah, this is all travel. Majority of it's just like all travel. Okay. So I feel like that's really great. I feel like I want to do this. I think this is such a good idea. I want to do this every year. Do a digital detox. I freed up so much space. I really did. I was holding on to things that I didn't need or that I just forgot, honestly, that it was there. But I'm glad it's all cleared out. Now, the last thing I want to do is just turn off my phone, shut it down, because I believe it helps. Anytime you have any issues with your phone or it starts to become slow, sh you know, get rid of stuff that you don't need, do a digital detox, turn off your phone, leave it off for maybe like five or 10 minutes and then turn it back on, just like resets everything.
it's around 8 p.m. I just finished cleaning up the kitchen a bit because I made the blueberry muffins, which were so good. I had some strawberries and I had some oat milk. That was my dinner since I was pretty full um, from lunch and I just wanted something small. But I'm going to end the night by reading the Heaven and Earth grocery store book. Trying to get a head start on that. I Hopefully this video motivated you to get your life together, revisit your 2024 goals. Hopefully this video motivated you to get your life together, deep clean your apartment or your house, review your 2024 goals just to make sure that you're still on track. We have six months left till the year end, so hopefully you're able to achieve all of your goals when you're able to work towards them. But yes, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.